Hello everybody, uh, this is Dr. Brenda Elliott and I am going to do a quick run through of our syllabus for Nursing 536 Foundations of Nursing Education and Curriculum. Please find at the top of the syllabus is my email and cell phone number. I would appreciate communication via email whenever possible as I tend to be able to answer those a little bit quicker. Um, certainly you have my cell phone number should the need arise for you to give me a call or for us to communicate via FaceTime. Um, other ways we can communicate, um, questions for the professor uh, is a discussion forum within your course that you may use for any questions you might have along the way. I do encourage you to answer the questions as well as post the questions should you see something posted that you know the answer for. and. Um, you know, there are other methods for us to communicate, such as conferencing. There is also uh, Zoom, which we can set up. And so please don't hesitate to reach out to me if at any point during the semester you need some assistance or some in additional instruction, and um, we can find a way to link up together. Okay, so just a quick run through. Your syllabus should look like every other syllabus that you have had to Wilson at this point in time. Here is a course description. We will be focusing on the faculty role, teaching practices, not as much, but definitely curriculum and uh, educational administration and the influence of curriculum development and implementation. Here are your course objectives and I would encourage you to take a few minutes to look at those. In a minute I will be showing you how the assignments that have been created for this particular course will link to your objectives. The textbook is listed here, Billings and Halsteads, Teaching and Nursing, a Guide for Faculty. I do recommend an APA manual for your text, but if you do not have a manual, you can utilize the Purdue OWL, which is linked into your course. Grading criteria. Uh, or grading matrix. This is what we're going to, you will be evaluated on this semester. We have four major discussion boards. You will be creating a presentation. 30 points of that presentation will be peer evaluation. There will also be a syllabus that you will develop uh, uh, for our course. And I'm just going to kind of breeze through some of this. You can read through any of this that you would like. A couple of things I want to highlight in your uh, detailed course calendar, of course, some of the discussion boards have more than one part. So please be careful when you're um, creating your responses that you answer all parts. Not every module is two weeks long. Uh, if you go down to the module three, you will see that this particular one is actually three weeks long and module four is only one week long. And I did that so that we would have an opportunity to spend some time um, up here in week, I'm sorry, in module three, uh, working with presentations. Okay, so sorry to skip around, but I'm gonna go back up to module two and talk just a couple of minutes about um, this particular discussion board. I wanna highlight for you here that you will see we have three parts to this particular discussion this week. Part one is to answer a question from your um, chapter eight, but part two, there are three options. I keep, the sun is not cooperating with me right now. Okay, there are three options. So if, when you look at this, if you are in the nursing education track because you want to be a nurse faculty, um, teaching at you know LPN school, bachelor's, master's, etc. Then option one might be for you. If you are taking this particular course work so that you can work as a staff educator or as the clinical nurse educator on your unit, then option two might be for you. And lastly, if you are a person who is hoping to get into um, community health program education of some sort, then option three might be for you. If there is not an option here of what you think you would like to develop for your syllabus or your program that you're, that you're going to be making a curriculum for, um, please email me and we can discuss how this might uh, work for you. I do want to highlight in, that there are some supplemental resources here for you as you begin to work on your presentations. 
um, how to convert to PowerPoint, etc. Um, if you need those, they are also linked into your course. As we work on this particular module three, you will see I have highlighted step by step. Um, each week there is something due. And so I just want to bring it to your attention. The first thing you need to focus on is submitting your presentation. It needs to be presented both in the assignment tab as well on it as well as on a discussion forum so that you can provide peer evaluation. Next, you need to watch at least three presentations, provide the feedback, and then there is a separate discussion board on how after you've watched the presentations might you change your particular course that you're working on and why. So they sort of need to be done in that particular order. Um, of course if you are an early bird and you're posting presentations and watching them all in week five um, then you can begin work on that a little bit sooner and if you're a little bit later in, in your posts then you might pick up on a, a few of the last couple of presentations. But we really have three weeks to accomplish all of this particular work. Um, so to give you a little bit of flexibility in your schedule, I wanted to just make note of that with you. Okay, so now I am going to move on to um, how your assignments link to the course objectives real quick and then we'll go into your course. So what I have done is across the left-hand side of the screen, I have listed out all the learning outcomes um, that are on your syllabus. Across the top, I have listed all of the assignments or assessments that you will be graded on. So your first discussion, second, third, fourth discussion boards, the presentation, and the syllabus. And then within this matrix, I have actually checkmarked which assignments or assessments link back to the learning outcome that you will be covering in that particular week so that you can kind of get a snapshot of which areas maybe we're going to cover a little bit more um, such as you know number one um, this is number four number five are going to be covered in in almost every assignment that you do if you look down here to number six this one's really going to be covered in in two particular assessments so maybe not as much as some of the others okay oh where is your class here is your class okay now that we're on to the class um, I have about six or seven minutes to cover this particular one I'm using screencast and uh, the free screencasts only last 15 minutes so at any rate here is your course this is what it looks like at present day not hundred percent finished but if you are watching this video you have successfully gone to the welcome and how to get started tab and follow the directions here's your syllabus and course calendar um, ungraded quiz to sort of test your knowledge in um, how well you understood your syllabus. And as you go through, there's course expectations, my bio, some other, some other required um, information for you regarding late assignments, disability, Canvas support, which can be gotten over here where you see the question mark in the circle halfway down. There are other resources. If you click on these resource folders that will take you to um, APA resources and the library, your nursing uh, student handbook, etc., which is new. And so if there's anything that you might be looking for, please take a look in there to see if you can find it. Um, secondly, uh, there is a communication tab, which I briefly talked about before, questions for the professor. That's for any questions related to the course that you would like to ask that you think your peers might also have questions about. Certainly email me any personal or specific questions. And um, if I feel the class could benefit, I will post that here. Now I will invite anybody to answer these questions. If you happen to see the question before I do and you know the answer, please feel free. I do appreciate that. Um, your course is set up a little bit different than most of you who had me over the summer and so I just want to highlight you will see learning resources here I've highlighted the objectives which you can also find on your syllabus that relate to this particular module from the course under the overview section that will give you just a brief um, description of what we're going to be covering that week your to-do list which should also mirror your course calendar 
then there are some learning activities um, for you. Here's your introduction, here's the Padlet, which is a new tool that I would like to use um, for you to start stimulating some ideas about um, how you might answer the module one discussion board question. Please note here, um, I've asked you to sign up for your presentation topic. And here's the discussion forum in which you will sign up for your particular um, presentation. So while the presentations aren't due until the end of week five, I would like you to look ahead and when you've decided what particular area you would like to present on, I want you to go to this discussion forum and post just the topic um, so that we can avoid duplication of topics. So I'm hoping that by the end of module one, which is the first two weeks of class, that you have identified a topic and you have posted it here. If for some reason two of you are wanting to do the same topic. Um, I might ask you to talk to each other and perhaps you can coordinate a, a variation in your approach to the topic so that we can cover a lot more of the content. But this is where you just post what topic you're going to do. Okay, um, down here in module two, you'll see an example of supplemental resources. These are not required readings or web links, but tools or things that I thought you might find useful in um, completing assignments or potentially for future reference um, to use in other courses or use in your own teaching and learning uh, as resources. I do want to highlight here so that there's not confusion later on module three. This particular one is an A, so this is for assignment. You should upload your presentation to the assignment tab, which goes into your gradebook and allows me to grade your presentation. I would also like you to post your discussion, your presentation here, feedback for presentations, and this is worth 30 points. This is where you will actually provide feedback to each other on presentations. Lastly, there is a discussion forum, and you will see this in your syllabus, on how you might change your syllabus or your course um, in any way after you have watched some of the presentations. So that's where that particular discussion will be posted. Just so that there's not as, as much confusion and it also will help decrease the amount of posts within each of these particular discussions because one's really about feedback of the presentation. The other is then how would you change um, your course or, or alter it in some way. Okay, and then uh, lastly you will see down here is module four. So if you have any questions or concerns um, about your particular course, where we're going in the class, please don't hesitate to uh, let me know. Of course, uh, as with any course that you have here at Wilson, um, there will be announcements here and once I post one it will highlight um, and then your grades, people in the class. If um, Each week I will offer a time to conference and so you will find those conferences here and there aren't any currently but these will be my office hours. I will post them each week and um, I will try to vary the times. I'll try to vary the day of the week um, so that I am available at, at various times for you. If um, at any time you want to conference with me, we can set that up kind of at a, at a last minute. We can do that via video conferencing. It's much like Skype, if you've ever used Skype, um, again, or Zoom, FaceTime, good old telephone call. Please don't hesitate to let me know. And that is it for your course orientation. Um, please make sure you review all the materials. Let me know if you find anything that's confusing that I could clarify and I look forward to a great course.